Hi everyone, Adam here and welcome to the fourth episode of my series Track by Track. So in the previous episode I finished songwriting my second song and now it's time to record it. But before I do that, I realized that on both of these guitars the strings are the ones that arrived with them from the factory, so it was time to change them. Also this guitar it had some issues since the beginning, the frets here in the top portion of the neck they weren't as smooth and they were actually scratching my fingers when I'm playing so they needed to be smoothed out and I just figured that it might be a good idea to, to have the setup done professionally so I took them to the shop it took some time because it's summer there are vacations but they are finally back in my home studio and that means that I can start recording as I was writing the song and I recorded a demo, I recorded the bass and that means that I have old DI for the bass. Now I recorded the bass again with the new strings and so we can compare what difference does it make uh, when you change the string on the bass. Okay, so I'm in the Logic and here are the bass recordings or the bass DI's and so this this one that's the DI from the demo that I recorded when I was writing the song with the old strings on the bass and here I have the new DI the final one and that's one is the one with new strings so we can compare them directly So yeah, I think the difference is quite huge. There is definitely much more definition in the DI with the new strings and the DI with the old strings. It lacks a lot of body. So yeah, definitely it's, it's worth it to, to change the strings for, for the recording. Shocking, I know. Okay, now let's move on to, to something else. So. As, as I learned from my previous recording or when I was recording my previous song, it's useful to have DI for all the guitars, basically. Even though I don't need to reamp it, like for the rhythm guitars, I'm happy with the tone, don't need to reamp it, I still recorded the DI's for, for each track and it's just really nice to, to have it, you know, because you never know, it might be useful. Uh, you might need to reamp it in the future. It's easier to work with the eye, so I can do some cleanups, and then I can reamp it with the equal tone, as well as I can use the performance for for some layers. I don't need to record it again. And I, I don't mean like uh, double tracking, of course, for double, double tracking you always need a new performance. But when just in general, when adding new layers, some overdubs and so on, it's just useful to have a DI. So from now on, I'm always recording with the DI and it's not really a problem. I just have a DI box and I'm recording both of signals. And I've already started playing a bit with, with some effects and so there is this section and so initially when I recorded this 
for the demo. I didn't plan on it, but when, when it's finished, there was a feedback. The feedback was starting to elevate and it was recorded and it sounded really nice. I, I thought that it it's really suits that part and it should be added. It. But the, the recording itself wasn't that good, so I couldn't keep it, but I can recreate the feedback. Like I, I had the recording, I knew what the feedback sounds like. And so I was trying to fake the feedback, I guess not with the amp, because here in this environment, it's not that easy to achieve uh, actual feedback, but I can fake it. So I tried this uh, pedal from the Digitech and it doesn't sound bad, but I, yeah, I, I also tried Ebo instead and I think it sounded much more natural. So here's what I have. So when the guitar ends, You know, just a small like sprinkle on top. I really think it matches this part nicely. Uh, I'm not entirely like sure if I will use the feedback high or the feedback low. Uh, but yeah, I felt it was nice addition and uh, it will need, I guess, some, some work during the mixing process. But still, you can see that I put some some EQ on it so that I can clean up all the other frequencies that I don't need. And also I use this pitch shift native plugin that's in the logic. And I, I shifted the, the tone just a tiny bit to, to match what the feedback sounded like in the original demo recording. And yeah, it's, I think it's, it's not there yet. It's not the final sound, but I think it's a good starting point. Another thing that I wanted to show you is that in the, in the end of the song, I'm ending it with, with a chord. So it sounds like this. Yeah, you can hear that there is some reverb and delay. That's because when I was recording it, I had the pedals on, but because I have the DI, I will record only the guitar without, without any pedals, without any effects. And then I will reamp it and add the delays and reverb separately so that it's easier for me to mix it properly. But the DI is very useful because I wanted to end the song with, with a noise. So I used the DI that I have here. And basically the last chord I used the reamp box and I sent the last chord to this pedal uh, Keylay Synth 1, which is kind of like a synth pedal, but it, it actually it produces noise. It's very like noisy. It's, it's very cool. It's fun to experiment with this and you can connect expression pedal. So that's what I did. And as I mentioned, I'm going with the DI signal through the reamp box into this pedal and then it's going back through the amp and into the logic. And so I added this, this noise. So yeah, that's, that's the effect that I've done with this pedal. I think it's really fun. And again, it, it matches, it matches the vibe of the song. It's, this song should end with something like, like this. And yeah, it's, it's fun experiment. It's just adding a, a bit of sprinkle on top. 
Uh, again, it's not the final form. During the mixing, I will probably play a bit more with it and uh, yeah, see, see how it goes. But a lo lot of fun. I highly recommend this pedal. That's it. That's the fourth episode of my series Track by Track. Hopefully in the next episode I will be doing mixing of this song. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.